Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel again. I've had a request from one of my lovely followers um, on how to do a corner to corner blanket. Um, it's not a very difficult thing to do. Um, although I did say to her that I'll do this for her tomorrow, I had some free time and here I am. This is um, done in a chunky yarn and I've uh, used a five millimeter crochet hook. This is purely just to show you as, the, as it's a thicker yarn, uh, so you can see the stitches, etc. Um, you can use any yarn in any hook for this. You can use DK for baby blankets um, with a four or five millimeter crochet hook. Um, and for chunkier yarns, you can go up to bulkier yarns, you can go up to six millimeters. Try even six and a half. It depends how you like it, really. Um, so this is one that I've done earlier just to show you and just also before I begin it will be a square um, the good thing about the corner to corner blankets uh, a corner to corner pattern should I say is that you're just starting from one corner and you can make the piece as big as you need it uh, no need for measuring just remember if it is will be a square it won't be a rectangle so uh, let's begin then and I'll show you I'm using this lovely um, chunky yarn. Uh, this is in the duck egg blue, and it's um, taking the label off, but it's here. It is Stylecraft chunky duck egg. So it does tell me here. Yeah, it actually tells me to use six millimeter, but I can't find my six millimeter, so I'll show you on my F five. So I'll begin this tutorial. Uh, first thing you need to do is a slip knot and chain six. You want to place a double crochet into the fourth chain. One, two, three, four there. And a double crochet into the remaining two. So in effect, you've got three double crochets and then that loop there that you did there in the beginning. When we are increasing, uh, we will be, every time we get to the end, we chain up six. So let's chain six again. Double crochet into the fourth chain. Next one. And the next one. So it's the same again. Three double crochets in a loop. So here you flip your work. You can go this way or that way it makes no difference so I'll just flip here we are so we're just going to flip it over and in that th chain three space there the loop that we made just slip stitch once you've slip stitched it's chain three and three more double crochets each block has a chain three and three double crochets so there begins your corner. Like mentioned before, chain up six. And then one, two, three, four into the fourth chain, double crochet into the next one. And into the next one. Always three double crochets and that loop at the beginning. Flip your work again, and now we are basically joining the work as we go along. So slip into that chain three space there, and chain three again. After chaining three, three double crochets. Go to your next three space here, and slip stitch. Chain three, and three double crochets. Do slow me down if I'm going too fast. I'm not speeding for any reason. This is just how I crochet. And when I slow down, things fall off my hook. So I, I just slow me down onto slow-mo um, from your um, YouTube section thing. So I'll show you one more row of an increase. Six again. Fourth chain, double crochet. Double crochet two more, which will make it a total of three. Flip 
flip your work, slip stitch into that chain three uh, space, chain three and three double crochets, slip again, chain three, three double crochets, Slip again, chain three, three double crochets. Now you can carry on extending your work however big you want it. And then when you get to the, the length and the height that you want, we want to reduce now and uh, 10 inches square. So when you're on the decreasing, when we're on the increasing, we were chaining six. When we're on the decrease, it's just chain three. Chain three, flip your work, slip stitch again into that chain space. So we're not going any bigger now this way. We're going shorter and shorter this way. But it's always the same, chain three and three double crochets. Slip again, chain three, three double crochets, slip there, chain three, and three double crochets, slip to the last one, chain three, right got confused then three double crochets okay we've bringing it up that way we're going to bring it back down down this way so it's chain three always chain three in the decrease not chain six and flip your work and join it Chain three, three double crochets. Slip to the next block there. Chain three, three double crochets. Slip to the next block. And it's always chain three and three double crochets. And that's really all there is to this corner to corner. That's right. <laughs> I'm getting confused. So when you get to the end, chain three, flip your work, slip stitch into the top, chain three, and three double crochets, slip there into that space, three double crochets, after chaining three, sorry. Slip to the top of that block, chain three, turn your work, slip to the top, chain three, and three double crochets. And I think we will have our square now. Yes, we do. How great is that? So just remember, when you're on the increase, it's always chain six because we're getting the height. And then when we've, when we've got to where we need to and we're on the decrease, it's three. That's your corner to corner blanket. Any questions, do message me. Um, if you want to make 
uh, are being afghan size you want to use chunkier yarn obviously this will work up much quicker hope you like this tutorial thank you for all your support everybody and this is for this uh, special lady who's asked me to show her how to do this thank you so much and uh, i'll see you on the next one. Oh, and on another note i've had a request to do a um bed runner and in fact i actually uh made one i'll quickly show you i had made one for my daughter as a wedding gift you may not be able to see it is absolutely gorgeous pattern i did it in a beige i just put some tassels on the end it's very simple it's just a bead stitch but it looks absolutely amazing i'll show you this one tomorrow it's a little bit more not complicated but there's a little bit more of uh, an explanation so thank you for watching everybody Here's your corner to corner stitch and go ahead and make whatever you need to make. I'll see you soon.